killed it. Yeah, it was good. Oh, God. Yeah. See, and most of the stuff, most of the diet stuff is pretty good, but it's like, eh, I haven't found one. A good orange, or, you know, a good orange, or a good grape diet. I haven't found that yet. Well, I think the best diet thing I've tasted, and I should say this is my opinion, is the dye orange crust. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. Diet cheer wine's pretty good, too. I didn't know they made a diet cheer wine. I've never had cheer wine. Oh, dude, you gotta go for it. I know, but I'm not allowed to have caffeine. Oh, I can relate to that. I'm not into caffeine either. Or else I'll be bouncing off the walls. Bing, 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 bing! Absolutely! Can you imagine, Steven? Bouncing off the walls. Oh, the four walls. Not so much bouncing as crashing through. Not a good thing. No, because I'm hyper to begin with. <laughs> Believe it or not. I might not sound like it. You know, the first time Chris thought out about that. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, caffeine is not very good for me. At least you know it and know to avoid it. That's the good thing. But I tell you what, Rick, just for the jarred meeting, I think I'm going to drink half a bottle of Monster Energy. Oh, Lord, I can't imagine you on that stuff. No! That stuff is so nasty. Yeah, really. Do that to yourself. I think my heart would be beating 300 times a minute. If you ever read the ingredients in that stuff, you'll never taste it again. Uh, I've never even had it. Except for a few drops. You haven't missed anything. That stuff is like, you know, like somebody had some leftover cough medicine, some garbage, and just took it on, threw it all together. I can tell you what the effects of years of tachycardia will do to you. Yeah. I'm, I'm not into all the caffeinated drinks, but I mean, I don't like coffee, and I don't like tea. So I don't have to worry about that. The only thing I wish I could drink would be Dr. Pepper. Now yeah, you're better off without it. You're not missing a thing, trust me. Why did they leave the, the period off after the DR on the Dr. Pepper label? Hmm. I wonder. That's your homework assignment, and we want you to write it up in a 500-word essay form, have it on my desk, not tomorrow, but day after tomorrow. It's 40% of your grade. Good luck. Hey, you're nice. Yes, I am. I get them thinking. Okay, what's the main, main ingredient in Dr. Pepper? Sugar. Besides that. Carbonated water. Besides that usual garbage. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Prune juice. Really? Seriously. Check it out. Well, that's some tasty prune juice, though. I'm so sure Rick knew that. Get a clean out. Here. Here's one for you. Some of the celestial, celestial seasoning teas, I believe is the brand. One of them has catnip in it. Oh, I wouldn't doubt that. Hmm. I should get get some 
doors down for cats. See the cats start freaking out. Yeah, yum yum. If you want to go out and buy some, bounce off the walls. I mean, why let your cats have all the fun? Yeah, but yeah, so. Yeah, you seem like you're about 5K off frequency. Go ahead. Ah, fine business, because I was. <laughs> Got the radio sitting here, uh, and it slipped down and changed the uh, frequency thing. Uh, the crystal wiggled out of my clay. Hi. Uh, is there a ham fest that... Uh,